Hi guys! <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to you, dude. My dog is freaking out. You should see him. He's being really cute. I love you too. I love you too. But can you just let him film and then we'll go? Huh? Ew, that was a big nasty burp. <laughs> Filming with dogs is difficult. Hey guys, today we're going to be repotting some plants. When I was thinking about quitting my job, I thought I'd have so much more time to do stuff like this. It actually turns out that I have less time than before. I'm busier somehow, it's weird. Uh, today I am going to be repotting some house plants that have desperately needed it for quite some time now. A whole bunch of plants. I have so many options of what to repot. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. So we'll just see what I'm in the mood to do today pull my hair back. I feel like I make a mess every time because I keep having to move my hair out of my face. We're just gonna pull it back and completely negate that issue. I love filming these kinds of videos. They're my favorite to film because they're just fun. They make me feel like one with earth, you know, when my hands are all in the soil. And again, I'm wearing a white shirt. Why does this always happen? I never think this through. So this is gonna be my bucket to put used soil in. I think I'm going to start with my asparagus fern. This guy kind of makes me nervous just because there are so many small bits. He is drying out a little bit. This is a plant that if you forget to water it one time, it dries up so fast. Like it's pretty unforgiving that way. So I do, I'm gonna repot it and then I do have a bunch that I'm going to trim off. There is a lot of small growth on here though, so it's fine. I was going to film a different video today and then uh, I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon Prime, which should have two day shipping, you know, that I needed for a video I'm going to film soon or I was planning to film today and it didn't arrive in two days. So I don't know what's going on there. Kind of annoyed by that. I guess crap happens, it's fine. I'll take that as my universal sign that I wasn't meant to film that video yet. Next week, I am leaving to New York for a week with my sister. Um, I'm going to be working backstage at Fashion Week, which I'm really excited about. I have done it before and it is a great time and I love New York. I would live there if I could, but I am a little bit stressed that that stuff didn't arrive because the video I was going to film today kind of goes along with my trip to New York. I don't know. I'm really excited for my trip though. I'm going to be filming. I have a lot of videos pre-planned to film while I'm there. And I'm definitely going to be visiting Logie's Nursery. Ooh, I'm so excited. And then also the Sill and the Botanical Gardens. So if you have any recommendations for things, plant related things I can do while I'm there, please let me know. I'm only scheduled for three shows as of now. So we'll see. I have a lot of spare time so far. And I'm really excited. I'm staying at the World Center Hotel, which I've stayed there before in the past. I think the first time I did Fashion Week. No, the second time I went there. I stayed at the World Center Hotel, which is right there by the World Trade Center, as you can uh, imagine by the name. And it is a great, lovely hotel. I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. These asparagus ferns have really delicate root systems. Well, not delicate exactly, but very like thin. This one is pretty substantial, but on thinner root, roots like these, it is hard to remove most of the soil and you do want to remove most of the soil in my opinion. I have started using a new soil mixture for my plants and I've had really, really good success with it. So what I've been doing is I use one half of the mixture is black gold all purpose potting soil. And then I use a fourth of orchid bark just from miracle Grow. I really like their orchid bark because it's really small pieces. I also use one fourth miracle Grow perlite and you can also use pumice in place of that if you'd like to. But it is a very, very airy mix. And for people who have an issue with overwatering as opposed to underwatering, this is a great mix for those of us who care too much and tend to overwater and kill our plants because it is super airy. What have you guys been up to? I feel like I haven't posted. I think it's been like a week since I posted or since I've really done anything on YouTube and I'm feeling, I don't know, it's been a while. I feel kind of weird. <laughs> Have you guys bought any um, cool new plants lately? I'm going to plant this guy into a ceramic pot that's glazed because it does like moisture. And like I said, if it dries out at all one time, it'll like crisp up like this leaf here and there's no coming back from that really. A glazed pot is going to very much help keep this guy adequately watered. Yeah, I think he looks really cute in this pot. What do you think? Putting the plant in there and going to put soil around the outside to help hold it in place. 
I love repotting plants. I look forward to this. Like anytime I buy a new plant, I like look forward to the day I repot it. I used to repot right away. I have learned that depending on where I'm buying from. So if I'm buying from like Lowe's or Home Depot or places where they don't like actually really care about their plants and affect for pests and things like that, I will repot right away, especially because their soil is like so dense and they tend to overwater their plants. I like to repot them right away, but if it's a nursery I know and trust, like J and J or Cactus and Tropicals, I'll actually leave the plants in the soil for a few weeks to acclimate to my house. It can be kind of stressful on the plants to repot them right away. So it's just kind of a pick your battle kind of a thing. Wow, it's so cute. Hi, do you love it? Do you love this mixture? Thank you. Where's your toy? Okay, now what am I gonna repot? I got this at Cactus and Tropicals the same day I got my variegated cast iron plant. Chinese evergreens are so underrated in the plant community in my opinion. Go get your ball. Where's your ball? Oh, he's bringing me his toy, my smart boy. Go on. He's just gonna keep hanging out, it's fine I guess. Honey. You can't put that there. This one is really fun to repot. The soil is coming off super easily. What's your favorite soil mix? Oh, I am so excited for spring. Today I'm wearing a little bit of a springy outfit because it's pretty warm outside. I'm really happy about it. Oh, I love it. That's cute. I love my dogs. You guys are so important to me. Do you know that? actually staring at me from across the room. So, oh my gosh, there's this plant called like a Chinese evergreen spilled milk or something like that. And it is so beautiful. I honestly, don't get me wrong. I love my variegated Monstera, but I think it's more beautiful than a variegated Monstera. So it'd be cool if I could find one of those. Um, since it's a variegated ficus, I don't like to put variegated plants in like printed or super textured pots. I don't know, it's like a weird, hang up of mine. So I'm going to take it apart and see how big the root system is and then decide what pot to put it in from there. This is a cute little plant. It's put out two new leaves since I got it. Not that long ago. Yeah, I think that's really cute. And it has a little bit of color and also terracotta at the bottom. So I think this is going to be a good option where this one is kind of a finicky water plant. I also do really like this soil mixture for ficus, particularly the Audrey and this one because they are a little bit more finicky about watering than say like a rubber tree. Oh, I was having really bad posture that whole time. My back hurts. I have so many trips planned this year and it's going to be really fun because I love going to new plant nurseries, but here in Utah where we do have such cold winters, it is hard to, like there's not many nurseries here, you know? Cute, you look so good, my little girl. I think I'm going to repot the cast iron. This is going to be the hardest one, so I actually think it's going to be the last one I do today. Uh, and then I'll save the rest of the plants. I have like 10 other plants. I'll do them in a video next week that can go up while I'm gone. Oh gosh, big plants kind of stress me out. And same thing, like on this one, I do think I want to separate some pieces, some small ones off of it. I want to start some smaller ones, you know? Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, my shirt. Oh, I just dumped this all over my lap. It's okay. It's fine. This is fine. Ah! This one's a mess. Yep, I'm gonna definitely have to clean my floors after this. Yep, it's fine. <laughs> so this guy got watered when I picked it up, say like a week ago, I think it was. Oh my gosh. The soil is still moist. This one is a very easy one to overwater. So this is necessary. Do you guys have any cast iron plants in your collection? Oh my gosh. I am covered in soil. <laughs> He's fine. Oh my, whatever. I give up. It's okay if it makes a mess. I don't know if this is weird. The soil is like really moist and it's touching my feet and it feels so nice because it makes me think of summer. I don't know if that's weird or if anybody understands what I mean. That's a really good feeling. Come on, summer. Okay, now the soil on here is very compact. The root system is also very compact. So I'm just gonna do my best. Oh my gosh, can you freaking see these roots? Can you see my dog? He's being really cute. My small dog, Bismarck. His name is actually Otto Edward Leopoldo von Bismarck. <sighs> My husband named him, who is, my husband's actually a history and geography teacher in junior high for junior high school kids. So, but he loves history 
and he's the one who named him. But I like it, it fits him. So we call him Bismarck or B or Busy or Busy Boy or Curly or Stinky. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Look at all that soil. Let's start putting some extra soil in here. Oh my gosh, my legs are asleep, my whole body's asleep. This is making me so happy because I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely, I mean, seasonal depression is a thing. And especially when it's like negative degrees in the morning, when I go to the gym with my sister, it makes it rough. But now it's starting to brighten up. The shortest day of the year has passed. So it's like downhill from here, you know what I mean? Which is very, a good feeling. Wow. And then I just got extra bright. I'll take that as a universal sign that everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm glad I wore my struggling artist pants that I don't care if they get ruined. Okay. Oh, looky there. Oh. I got this pot at Ross recently. Oh, I was going to do a pottery haul and I never did. For super cheap. I just... So if you guys have a Ross near you, go hit up your Ross because they're getting in all sorts of cute pots. Like this, if you like hit the sides shimmy the plant a little bit. It'll help fill in the spaces between roots. Ugh, blue is cute. Maybe I should. I think I like this one. Since this plant is variegated, I like to put variegated plants in like solid colors. Oh, there's a new little leaf coming in. That's exciting. Here's what this mix I'm using looks like. It's really airy. There's some orchid bark, perlite, and black gold general purpose potting soil, but I really, really like this. My hands look sick. Everything on me looks gross right now because I'm so doity. I should wear gloves when I do this, I know, because it really dries out my nails and my hands and stuff, and my nail polish is peeling off, but I love the feeling of the soil on my skin. Are any of you like that? Like you love the feeling of soil on your skin? Like, I do. I don't know if that's a weird thing of mine. Or if that's normal among houseplant enthusiasts, you know what I mean? Okay, look at how cute he looks in this pot! I think it looks really nice. And then, I just have this one last piece, and I'm gonna put in this terracotta. I like hold him up so that the top of the plant where I want the soil to hit is lined up where I want it to be, you know? So then the soil can fill in around the base of the plant a little bit better than if you just like set them in. This pot is a teeny bit big for the cast iron, but where this is such an airy mix, I'm not worried about overwatering him. And it's in terracotta, so good call, good call. And now I'm out of soil, I have this in here. And that's the last, so I need to go soil shopping. But like I said, I'll have everything I use linked below, all the brands and everything. And yeah, so there are my three cast iron plants, my three aglionema, my ficus altissima, get away, and my asparagus fern. So let me know what you thought of this repotting video. If you have any repotting tips, please share them in the comment section down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye! Look at how dirty my hands end up after repotting. Gross, but also really nice. <laughs> Feels like spring and summer. I'm excited to garden outside. Yep. Okay, doesn't look so bad from here, but oh my gosh, I am a mess. But I love the way that these cast iron turned out. Look at, so messy. It's everywhere and I'm sure it's all over my butt too because I got up and then sat down again. Worth it, so fun. Look at that. Ew! Lots of cleaning up! So, bye!